Good afternoon, folks. This is Deb Delapiana. And you know, <clears throat> we're going to have a little conversation today. It's going to be a parable about Donald Trump and the Ten Commandments. So why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I watched on Easter Sunday, Donald Trump just sit there all day with a barrage of posts on social media that were totally fucking unhinged. All right. So I thought we should just take a look at the Ten Commandments. Let me just talk to you just quickly about my background. I grew up in a very Catholic family. I started Catholic school in the second grade only because they had no room for me at that school when I was in the first grade. I then went on to a Catholic high school, Arlington Catholic, and then I spent two years in a Catholic college. So to say that I have been thoroughly brainwashed with Catholicism and just what means what is quite true. I am a non-practicing Catholic, however, because the one thing that they could never get out of me was my free thinking. So, but when it comes to religious stuff, I know it. Okay, so let's talk about it. Donald Trump and the Ten Commandments. Commandment number one, you shall have no other gods before me. What that means is not just, you know, another person, but stuff like money, wealth, and power. And we all know that that's number one with Donald Trump, not God, not Jesus, not the Bible, not anything, money, wealth, power. You can see it every day in his business dealings. You can see it every day in his political dealings, okay? You shall make no idols. That means no other image of a God, a representation of a God. But he did that yesterday when he declared himself the chosen one, okay? He positions himself as God. He is everything he's ever dreamed of. So he doesn't do so well on commandment number two either. Number three, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. You know, like when you stand up at the inauguration with your hand on the Bible and vow in God's name, so help me God, to defend the Constitution. Right then and there, he lied. He did not defend the Constitution. He tried to overthrow the government. Keep the Sabbath day holy. I can't really speak to that. I know Joe Biden goes to church every Sunday. I don't think Donald Trump goes to church every Sunday. I don't even think that matters, the whole going to church thing. But the whole idea that you keep it holy, meaning you don't go out and overtly harm any other people in terms of even just talking about them. Donald Trump is on Truth Social 24-7, and he's, you know, besmirching and dumping on people constantly. There's no day off for Donald Trump on so Truth Social. He's on there on Sunday. He was on there on Easter Sunday, shitting all over the human race, okay? So he doesn't do so well on, on commandment number four either. Honor your father and your mother. Don't know anything about that. Uh, I do know that his father was as big a skank as he is, and he probably learned everything he knows from daddykins. But I have no, no idea how he treated his parents, so I make no claims on that one. Number six, you shall not murder. Let's talk about that one. What we know is that Donald Trump, and this is through studies done in the United States and overseas, caused the unnecessary deaths of at least 500,000 Americans. How did he do that? Well, when Donald Trump found out that, and from Jared Kushner, he got this information that COVID was killing uh, disproportional amounts of people of color, Blacks and Latinos specifically, he started immediately a push to open the economy in the middle of a pandemic because he saw that as a political upside for him to have people of color die before the next election. It's as plain and simple as that, okay? It cannot be denied. Numbers are the numbers and the story is the story. And I've already done a story on that and I posted the story, but I will post it again in the YouTube version of this video. So to say that he hasn't committed murder, that's a lie, he has committed murder. At the very least, negligent homicide. You shall not commit adultery. <laughs> Where should I start there? Let's, let's just do a quick rundown. He cheated on his first wife, Ivana, with Mala Maples. 
He then cheated on Mala Maples with at least three other women. He actually boasted about this. I don't have their names, uh, but he didn't make it. Uh, it wasn't a secret. He's boasted about how many women he's had. He then married Melania Trump. They had one son together. And he had an affair with Stormy Daniels and the 1998 Playmate of the Year, Karen McDougal, to which he paid both of them hush money. So none of that information would come out before the 2016 election. So yeah, Donald Trump doesn't do so good on the adultery scale either. Number eight, you shall not steal. Well, you know, go talk to Letitia James about that. He shysted and stole his way across the entire state of New York to the point where he owes them $454 million, okay? He um, destroyed Atlantic City, New Jersey, caused people to lose their business. He has filed for bankruptcy four times, put millions of people out of work. Um, so yeah, not so good on the stealing part either. He also swindled the charity, okay? And then there was Trump University, a total scam. The man is nothing but a scam artist. He is the ultimate con, okay? Number nine, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Well, you know, he does this with immigrants all the time. Anybody coming into the country is either a rapist or an escapee from a mental asylum, okay? Um, he tells everybody that gay people are grooming children. He lies. He lies about everything. There isn't anything he doesn't lie about. He told 30,573 documented lies while he was president of the United States. Four years, in four years. And since he's been out of office, he must have at least told that many. The big lie was the biggest con of all. That was the biggest lie, that we stole the election from him. That's bearing false witness. And number 10, you shall not covet, meaning, you know, you shall not want or desire anything that other people have. We all know Donald Trump covets all day long. That's his MO. You know, he has to be the richest, the man with the mostest. He's greedy. That's what thou shalt not covet. It doesn't matter if it's thy neighbor's wife, thy neighbor's goods, whatever it is, he covets it just by the fact that he's cheated. He has coveted his neighbor's wife or goods. Okay. So the notion that Donald Trump is a man of God is ridiculous. The fact that he is selling Bibles, if he really wanted to make America pray again, you get enough money to buy him and give him away for free. But no, you know, what does that one go against? You shall make no idols. He does make idols by selling a Bible, selling a Bible. And, you know, putting it in line with the Constitution. Donald Trump is the biggest fake Christian on the planet. And anyone who thinks that Donald Trump is a man of God, all of you little people out there who continue to follow him, all you Christian nationalists who continue to funnel him money, you are all breaking the commandments, okay? Donald Trump is a heathen. He's a scumbag. And he is an adulterer. And he is unfit for the presidency. But the notion that this guy right here even knows what the Ten Commandments look like is patently absurd. So you go on and continue to worship at the altar of Trump. And let's see where that gets you with the big guy. I'll talk to you all later.